It roared, it rattled, and it smoked like a chimney, yet it refused to die. Farmers cursed it, engineers argued about it, and mechanics shook their heads at its sheer stubbornness. The Deutz F4L912 wasn't supposed to be great. On paper, it broke almost every rule of diesel engineering. But in the real world, it rewrote them all. Across dusty fields, scorching deserts, and frozen tundras, this odd-looking German engine proved itself to be one of the most unkillable machines ever built. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't refined, and it definitely wasn't quiet, but it worked. And that, in the world of hard labor and relentless reliability, meant everything. This is the story of how one bizarre creation by Deutz, a company obsessed with air-cooled diesel perfection, became a mechanical legend that defied both logic and time. If you love real mechanical history, engines that break rules, and the wild stories behind machines that shaped industries, then stick around. Because what you're about to hear isn't just the tale of an engine, it's a deep dive into German engineering madness, stubborn innovation, and the creation of a machine that the world couldn't kill. Born from obsession, not convention. To understand the F4L912, you first have to understand the company that made it, Deutz AG. Founded in 1864 by Nicholas Otto, the man behind the four-stroke engine, Deutz became one of the world's oldest and most respected engine manufacturers. From the beginning, Deutz wasn't content to follow trends. While the rest of the world raced to perfect water-cooled diesels, Deutz engineers pursued something radically different, air-cooled diesel engines. No radiators, no coolant, no hoses, just fins, fans, and pure mechanical precision. It sounded absurd. Air cooling for high-compression diesel engines was supposed to be inefficient and unstable, but Deutz didn't see it that way. They believed that simplicity was the ultimate sophistication and that eliminating the water cooling system would create engines that were lighter, tougher, and easier to maintain. And that's how, after decades of refinement, the world met one of the strangest success stories in diesel history, the Deutz F4L912, an engine that made even the skeptics believe in the impossible. The Era of Mechanical Confidence The 1960s were an era when machines were designed not by computers, but by intuition, slide rules, and stubbornness. Engineers were free to experiment, to build engines that felt right, not just looked good on a chart. Deutz was at the forefront of that movement. Their air-cooled engines were already powering tractors, industrial pumps, and construction machines across Europe, but they wanted to go smaller, tougher, and more versatile. That's where the F4L912 came in. Introduced in the mid-1960s, it was part of Deutz's 912 engine family, a line of air-cooled diesels that ranged from two to six cylinders. The F stood for Flüssigkeitslos, meaning without liquid, a proud declaration that no water or coolant was needed. The Dewid 4 represented its four cylinders, and the rest, well, that was pure Deutz logic. It was compact, rugged, and sounded like thunder when it fired up. But it wasn't designed to be elegant. It was designed to survive. The design that made no sense. At first glance, the F4L912 looked almost alien compared to its water-cooled competitors. Its fins stretched out like armor plates, its fan belt sat prominently in front, and its massive cooling shroud gave it an almost insect-like appearance. Under the hood, the logic was unconventional. Instead of relying on coolant to regulate temperature, the engine depended entirely on forced air circulation. A powerful fan, driven directly off the crankshaft, pushed air across finned cylinders, ensuring uniform cooling even under extreme loads. It sounded brilliant in theory, but critics called it reckless. Diesels ran hot, and without water, temperature spikes could cause catastrophic failures. Yet somehow, Deutz's precision engineering kept everything perfectly balanced. Each cylinder head was cast from robust iron, each fin calculated to dissipate just enough heat to prevent warping. The fuel system, a simple inline mechanical pump, was tuned to perfection. No electronics, no sensors, just raw, calibrated mechanics. It was a design that looked wrong, but worked flawlessly. And that contradiction would become its legend, the sound of indestructibility. Ask anyone who's ever worked around an F4L912 what they remember most, and they'll tell you, the sound. It didn't hum, 
It didn't purr. It clattered, like a bag of bolts in a washing machine. But that sound was music to farmers, construction crews, and engineers everywhere, because it meant one thing, the engine was alive. The F4L912's distinctive rhythm came from its direct injection system and the rigid mechanical timing that made it both reliable and loud. There was no soft start, no digital management, just the brutal honesty of combustion. In the field, that sound carried for miles. Whether powering a Deutz tractor, a generator, or a military vehicle, the engine's rough symphony became its trademark. And while other engines might run smoother or quieter, few could match its sheer durability. The F4L912 could run for thousands of hours without major maintenance, through dust, mud, heat, and cold, without so much as a coolant leak because it didn't have any. The strange strength of simplicity. Most engines fail not from lack of power, but from complexity. Pumps, hoses, gaskets, and electronics each a potential weak point. Deutz engineers knew that every extra part was a risk. The F4L912's genius was its minimalism. It had fewer moving parts, fewer maintenance points, and fewer failure modes than its water-cooled rivals. The air cooling system, while unorthodox, eliminated the single most common failure source in diesel engines, coolant loss. This made the engine almost invincible in remote environments. Farmers in Africa and Asia who had limited access to spare parts or skilled mechanics found the Deutz to be a godsend. It didn't need distilled water. It didn't care about coolant quality. It just needed air and diesel. Even in the harsh deserts of the Middle East, where water-cooled engines frequently boiled over, the F4L912 kept running. Its simple oil-cooled piston crowns and massive fin arrays dissipated heat more efficiently than anyone had thought possible. Deutz had turned a supposed weakness, air cooling, into an indestructible advantage. Power in unlikely places. The F4L912 wasn't just an engine for tractors, it became the beating heart of machines across the globe. It powered Deutz D-Series tractors, far harvesters, Majerus trucks, and even military vehicles that needed to operate without complex cooling systems. Its modular design made it easy to adapt to generators, compressors, and construction machinery. Everywhere it went, it built a reputation for toughness. Mechanics joked that if you dropped it off a cliff, it would probably still run when you picked it up. The engine's versatility was unmatched. It could be mounted horizontally or vertically, paired with gearboxes or hydraulic pumps, and still maintain perfect cooling balance. It was the Swiss army knife of industrial engines ugly, loud, and completely unstoppable. The cult of the F4L912. By the 1970s and 1980s, the F4L912 had achieved cult status. Farmers swore by it. Small engine shops built entire businesses around rebuilding them. And wherever a Deutz ran, stories followed. There were tales of engines running without oil for hours, of tractors buried in mud abandoned for months only to start again after a few cranks, of machines surviving temperatures that would melt ordinary engines. These stories weren't myths, they were testimonies. Mechanics marveled at the engine's overbuilt internals, from its forged crankshaft to its cast iron cylinders. Every component felt heavy, deliberate, unbreakable. It wasn't efficient by modern standards. It wasn't comfortable, but it was honest. And for the people who depended on it, that was worth more than anything. The F4L912 became more than an engine. It became a companion, a workhorse, and a piece of mechanical folklore. The price of perfection. But perfection always comes with a cost. By the late 1980s, the F4L912's brute force simplicity began to clash with the world's new demands for efficiency and emissions control. Air-cooled engines were harder to quiet, harder to regulate, and less fuel-efficient than their liquid-cooled counterparts. Governments started imposing strict noise and emission standards. Suddenly, the same raw, clattering character that defined the Deutz became a liability. The F4L912, for all its ruggedness, couldn't evolve fast enough. Deutz tried refining the design, introducing the 913 and later the 1011 series, 
But the era of purely mechanical engines was coming to an end. The machine that had once defied logic now faced the one enemy it couldn't outlast, progress. When the world moved on, by the dawn of the 1990s, the industrial world was transforming faster than Deutz could turn a crankshaft. Electronics were invading every corner of mechanical life. Engines were being equipped with sensors, digital fuel mapping, and emission reduction systems that promised cleaner, quieter operation. For decades, Deutz had prided itself on resisting complexity, but now the simplicity that had once been its strength was becoming its weakness. Governments demanded silence, where there had been clatter, efficiency where there had been brute torque, and cleanliness where there had been clouds of blue smoke. The F4L912, though beloved, simply couldn't meet these new standards without losing the very qualities that defined it. Deutz engineers attempted to modernize the platform with the 913 and 1011 series, adding turbocharging, better injection timing, and noise dampening, but something fundamental was lost. The mechanical honesty, the industrial heartbeat, the indestructible charm all softened in the pursuit of progress. Across workshops and farms, old mechanics shook their heads. They don't build them like they used to, they'd say, standing beside a dusty F4L 912 that still fired up with one pull of the lever. The world had moved on, but the machine refused to fade quietly. The cult of the air-cooled faithful. By the 2000s, a quiet cult had begun to form around Deutz's old air-cooled line. Enthusiasts, collectors, and mechanics began restoring F4L 912 engines not just for use but for pride. They celebrated its design quirks, the awkward fan shroud, the asymmetrical cooling fins, the heavy iron block that could crack concrete if dropped. They swapped stories of machines running for 40,000 hours without overhaul. They spoke of engines left outdoors for decades that still turned freely with a wrench. In forums and online groups, the Deutz faithful began calling it the cockroach of diesel engines, because no matter what you threw at it, it just wouldn't die. This cult wasn't driven by nostalgia alone, it was powered by respect. The F4L912 had earned its legend the hard way, through sweat, dust, and decades of hard labor. It became the symbol of an age when machines were built for people, not computers. In an ironic twist, the very traits that once made it seem outdated, its noise, its simplicity, its stubbornness, were now the reasons it was loved. Inside the beast, what made it immortal? To understand why the F4L912 survived so long, you have to look at its heart. Every component was built for longevity, not speed. The crankshaft was forged from solid steel, balanced with surgical precision. The cylinders were sleeved in thick cast iron, allowing for easy reboring and repair. The lubrication system was almost comically over-engineered, ensuring oil reached every moving part even at awkward angles. Its air cooling system, dismissed as primitive by critics, was a masterpiece of thermodynamics. Each fin was designed to create turbulent airflow, maximizing heat dissipation without hotspots. The oversized fan pushed air with relentless force, and the engine's geometry ensured even temperature distribution under extreme loads. And then there was the fuel system, entirely mechanical, immune to electronic failure, and capable of running on low-grade diesel that would choke a modern engine. It wasn't built to win beauty contests, it was built to survive the apocalypse. When modern engines fail due to a faulty sensor, an F4L912 just keeps chugging along, its pistons singing that unmistakable metallic hymn of German resilience, the noise that became a memory. For those who grew up around one, the sound of the F4L912 is unforgettable, that uneven idol, the deep metallic bark as the throttle opens, the rhythmic cough of compression. It was the soundtrack of labor, the noise of progress carved from metal and diesel, on construction sites, in shipyards, in the fields, that sound meant work was being done. But as the years passed and newer, quieter engines replaced the old air-cooled Deutz units, that sound began to fade. Regulations demanded silence. Consumers demanded comfort. What once echoed across valleys and farms became a rare relic of another time. Yet for many, hearing an F4L 912 start today feels like stepping back into a world where everything was simpler, tougher, and more honest. 
It's not just nostalgia, it's respect for a time when engineering was as personal as it was practical. The noise that once annoyed neighbors has become the heartbeat of memory. The Legacy of Defiance The Deutz F4 L-912 was not a commercial juggernaut, nor a technological marvel by modern standards. It was something rarer, a symbol of defiance against convention. It proved that good engineering doesn't always follow trends, that sometimes the smartest solution is the simplest one. While other manufacturers chased complexity, Deutz doubled down on clarity of purpose. Its legacy lives in the machines it powered, the people who maintained it, and the engineers who learned from it. The lessons it taught, simplicity over sophistication, durability over delicacy, still resonate in workshops around the world. Even today, when you see a Deutz tractor rumbling across a field or a generator coughing to life in a remote outpost, you're witnessing the ghost of the F4L912, the logic-defying engine that refused to bow to time. In the end, the Deutz F4L912 is more than just an engine. It's a story about human ingenuity, stubbornness, and belief in one's craft. It shouldn't have worked. By every textbook definition, an air-cooled diesel of that power and size should have failed under real-world conditions. But it didn't. It thrived. It outlasted its rivals, outworked its critics, and outlived its own company's ambitions. It became an accidental masterpiece, a machine that refused to obey logic, and in doing so, became immortal. Even now, somewhere in a dusty workshop or on a distant farm, an F4L912 is still running, its fans screaming, its pistons pounding, its exhaust painting the air with the scent of diesel and time. It's not beautiful, it's not efficient, but it's alive. And sometimes, that's all that matters. If this story stirred something in you, if you've ever admired the growl of an old diesel, the smell of oil and metal, or the genius of an engineer who dared to be different, then share this story. Subscribe, follow, or pass it on to someone who knows what real machinery feels like. Because stories like these aren't just about engines, they're about people, perseverance, and passion. The Deutz F4L912 may have defied logic, but it defined an era. And as long as there are hands willing to turn a wrench, the legend will never die.